Hello, this is John Rawnsley, Independent Affiliate for Freebay, and today I'm going to take you through the process of uninstalling and reinstalling a G999 Core Wallet on your desktop. If, like me, you um, installed it in the default folder, you're going to have to find out where that is. So it takes a little bit of hunting, but you go to your C drive and then select Users. Then select your computer name. Once you're there, backslash app data capital a double p capital d a t and then once you've found that go to roaming and then you'll find g triple nine in there now if you've got no coins in your wallet it's okay just to straight delete that file like i'm doing um, but if you've got coins in that wallet just rename it for this moment in time to g triple nine back or back G999 or something like that, just to be on the safe side. Once you've done that, you're okay to go and install or create the new folder in the root. Now, on the G999 um, node, it tells you to put it on a partition. I don't have a partition, so I'm just creating a folder in my C root, so my C drive as G999. And within that, I am creating another folder called data. And there's nothing in there at all. It's just C G999 data. So once we've done that, we can um, navigate to G999 main.net. And what's prompted this video is if you actually go to masternodes and scroll down the masternodes to section two of the installation of a masternode, you will see there that they've suggested that you unpack the core wallet to D colon backslash G triple nine backslash data. So that's what we've just created on our C drive now. Instead of using D, we're using C. So go on to G999 Wallet and download, as we did before, select the operating software that you've got and just download the software and unpack it as you've done in the past. Then click on the G999 it does say Windows protected, but you do trust the, the software provider, so run it anyway. And now here, this is where you select a, di a directory, a custom directory. So press the select, go to C, then look for G999 and data, and then select that folder. So now this is where your wallet will be installed for future use. You can find your backup files. You can do everything that you want within there and press OK. So once this is installed, you've got to go through the same process again of it being out of sync. And you have to wait for it to sync up for the amount of time that it takes to sync up. But once it's synced, you're good to go. Everything's in the new uh, position and you can do what you need to do. So once again, thanks for watching and look forward to catching you on the next video.